Hello, this is uh, Filippo Scaglia. I am a legal advisor for the Tendrian Partners here in uh, Vietnam, in Hanoi. And uh, today we're going to discuss about the investment framework for foreign investors in Vietnam. First, let me just give you a brief and quick introduction of our companies to understand uh, who we are and uh, what we do. Let me just share the screen. So, we are, these are uh, our core values. As you can see, there are, we have many core values. Anyway, the one I believe uh, I would try to stick the most is uh, to treat our clients' problem as our own and uh, to stick with honesty, integrity, and ethics. Our mission is to be present in every capital in the world. So far, our headquarters is located in uh, Shanghai. We already expanded to some countries in Asia, such as Vietnam, of course, India, the Emirates. We also have a Russian desk for our, for our Russian clients. And of course, we are present in Italy. This is our strength. As you can see, we have a team with a long time experience and proven experience, international experience international and multilingual team. This is the structure of two senior partners and founders, Mr. Calandre and Mr. Matteo Gere. And these are the, our four companies of DP Group. The first, which I will definitely introduce in a minute. The first, dedicated to legal consultancy, it's like PSC for tax and accounting, Eastant for social media management and marketing, Chance and Better for education and training. And then, as I said, we started uh, our headquarters in Shanghai and we provide uh, corporate uh, assi assistance to, cor to international corporate uh, com companies in uh, all around the world. Our main practice, practice areas are uh, corporate MA, labor law, international product rights, uh, legal compliance, uh, dispute resolution. Merger acquisition, mostly. As you can see, I am very proud to share with you that uh, this year in 2021, uh, we were awarded with the uh, Lefonte Award, uh, Awards as a uh, best corporate MA firm. And also, especially here in Vietnam, uh, we take care of, of uh, foreign, foreign direct investment, uh, how to set up the company, how to uh, approach the market uh, for companies that uh, are the first time are here in this country. PFC uh, is our advisory tax and accounting firm, and uh, they provide services uh, for uh, accounting, uh, financial provision, internal audit, uh, business consulting, M&A, and uh, other extraordinary activities. Instant is our marketing firm, and uh, we provide services for uh, uh, social media man management, uh, digital marketing, PR, and event planning. Mm -hmm. Chance and Better is our uh, education firm and we provide services related to connecting uh, the university. We have a strong uh, relation uh, with uh, some of the best universities around the world, at least Asia and Europe. We provide the link between uh, universities and uh, companies by providing education and training services, internship and business uh, visit uh, to the various university in the world. We also published a, a series of uh, practical guides. We started in China. The Chinese one is the most uh, lucky with the higher number of uh, publication dedicated to these are practical guides to foreign investors which are approaching the market. So we give us uh, some uh, uh, we try to explain and to give some uh, advice from uh, international profit rights, uh, foreign direct investment, uh, then there is the free trade zone and uh, labor law. The most recent, I believe, uh, is dedicated to the e-commerce uh, in China. While I'm so proud to say that we also have started publishing a series dedicated to Vietnam, so far, we published three. The first one is dedicated to the FDI for direct investment and cover the general framework, a legal framework for Vietnam. 
the second dedicated to industrial zone in the trunk, and the third uh, dedicated to the certificate uh, of origin, which is uh, the most practically the regulation uh, uh, regarding how to obtain uh, the made the town label on your product. And uh, this was, uh, I believe, it, uh, the most useful in the, in the recent uh, years, which will become most useful because uh, uh, there are many free trade agreements which uh, Vietnam has become part. Most recently, the, the European, the Vietnam, the EFTA, free trade agreement. And uh, basically, to benefit of this, all these uh, tax exemption and uh, duty free for products for import export, uh, you have you must have uh, a certificate of origin stating that your product is certified, that your product is uh, made in the plant. These are some of our clients. As you can see, they come from different countries: Italy, China, but also, of course, India and Russia. And uh, they are uh, our, I, mean, I would say that uh, most of them are in the heavy manufacturing for mechanical components, but not all of them, not, not all of them. We can see that they come from different sectors, from furniture to fashion to uh, others. These are the same four are the university which we, with which we cooperate from Italy and uh, China, Russia, and India, and these are our offices. Now, get to the, get finally to the topic of today: the investment framework of FDI in Vietnam. Vietnam is at the top of the relocation ranking in the world. I, I believe uh, you heard about the China Plus One uh, strategy from company relocating, uh, if not all the production, a branch of the production, or just uh, some part uh, from China to a different country. Most are most of the companies decided to relocate in Vietnam. As you can see from this chart, uh, many of the foreign investors in the country are from Asia. First come uh, South Korea, and then there is uh, Japan, Singapore, China, and Hong Kong. So, and then uh, other. So, the vast majority of these. Uh, of the foreign companies come from Asia. They come from different sectors, as you can see from the second chart, uh, mostly from uh, industrial manufacturing, so they have manufacturing. Due to what I said before, the China Plus One strategy, which, by the way, came very handy in the recent year due to the pandemic spread of COVID-19, and uh, it was a very convenient strategy to have not located or to have not put all, as they say, all your eggs in one basket, but to spread the production in different countries. Because at some point, uh, uh, production was locked, it was stopped uh, pretty much anywhere in the world. So having some other, some options, some alternative to keep the companies running the production, the productivity running, uh, this was very convenient. <laughs> I mean, I believe that uh, company that is located to Vietnam, most other countries were very glad to have chosen this strategy. Industrial manufacturing, electronics, uh, I will get into details later, but uh, I believe you know that uh, Samsung has already moved the, most of their production for the world here in Vietnam. It is also Foxconn, which, which is a good, high, big supply for Apple products. But also textile and garments, I believe, and uh, still not dominant, but still a good portion of the manufacturing uh, sector in the plant dedicated to textile and garments. I believe you at least have one product in your wardrobe stays in uh, making the term. Real estate, real estate, of course, because. Uh, Vietnam is uh, pushing a lot in the last 10, 15, or even 20 years to upgrade their uh, infrastructure and therefore also the real estate, uh, the world that was, there is still a real estate boom here in the country, and then consumer goods and other. 
Vietnam economic integration. Uh, Vietnam was and still is at the center of the attention and attractiveness for foreign investment, mostly because also of the strategic location in the in Asia and therefore also in the world because it's at the center. You can have a, a the hub for Asian for the Asia Pacific region. And then from there, export to other markets such as the US, the Europe, uh, the MA. So, Vietnam has a strategically signed and has a number of many uh, international treaty agreements. As you can see, the most recent is the RCR, the RCEP, which includes companies such as uh, company, countries such as uh, China, Korea, Australia, Japan, New Zealand, India and uh, all the Asian ASEAN uh, conglomerates and members. And then also the EBFTA, which uh, I already talked about before, which came, came in, entered into force last year. And uh, basically we bring the, the tariff duties uh, to zero, almost zero, practically zero, for most of the products uh, in the next uh, gradually reducing in the next 10 or uh, seven years, but already from, from last year, the tax duties are cut by 85% or 65% in import and export between Europe and Vietnam. Now, getting to the country's regional cluster, as you can see, Vietnam is the, com is the country that uh, developed from north to south. North, the major uh, Cluster is uh, around the city of Hanoi and the Haiphong on the coast uh, and close to the border with China, with the, one of the most important uh, seaports in the country. While in the south, there is uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, and uh, the Mekong uh, River, River uh, Delta, which is in the southwest part uh, of the country. These uh, are the previously business sector that I mentioned before, which are the most important and most relevant in the country. And uh, textile environments, uh, I would say that uh, they are most located in, in the Red River Delta, which is uh, north, the river that crosses uh, across, uh, Hanoi City, and also in the Ho Chi Minh City and the neighboring uh, region and provinces, uh, such as uh, uh, Bing Zhuang, Dong Nai, and some also in the Mekong River Delta. Then for electronics, uh, I have to say, I, I would say that uh, uh, the regional cluster is located around Hanoi. As I said before, Samsung, Foxconn, Foxconn, this major player, have set up their uh, production facilities and also R&D facilities in the north, uh, in the, north uh, in the outskirts of uh, Hanoi in uh, Bakmin provinces, province. Then for automotive, uh, this is a sector that grew in the last, I would say, mostly in the last five years, maybe 10. It's uh, spread evenly in uh, the north and the south, but uh, in 2019, uh, the local, uh, local uh, car manufacturers, uh, uh, company which is the infast, is established and uh, inaugurated a state of the art facility production facility in Haiphong, very convenient for export to the Haiphong seaport and the border, close to the border with China. For the food processing, uh, major region is the Mekong River Delta in the south for the very strong agricultural business uh, sector, which has kept growing uh, constantly in the last years. Liquefied natural gas is a recent news that uh, a few billion, few billion, I said correct, investment coming uh, in the central, central region for the liquefied natural gas uh, extraction and production facilities. So also we have a supplier to follow. For the IT and tech, I, there are, uh, I would say that uh, they are mostly located in the Saigon, which is the most uh, fast uh, developing and keeping up a most international city in Vietnam. But uh, in the central region of Danang, uh, some of the foreign countries have established uh, their, uh, their hub and their branch here in the countries. 
So we will see for sure some uh, research uh, and new product, no new software development coming from there, which is not done either. While for the pharmaceutical, it's uh, well, it's spreading only between uh, the north and the south. Again, the Hanoi iPhone uh, also in the south, across uh, Saigon. And because uh, the pharmaceutical production here in the country is mostly dedicated to the export to uh, some border country, it's not dedicated to export to uh, US and the EU and the EU European Union, but to Cambodia, Laos, uh, and uh, Myanmar, and Bangladesh, and other countries. Yeah. This is all. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you found it uh, interesting and useful also. If you have any doubt, any question, please get in touch with us. We will be glad to answer all your inquiries. And uh, 